Hello, my name is Nemoto Masatsugu from International Development Institute, Chunbuk National University, Korea. The title of my presentation is Change Analysis of Youth Job Searching and the COVID-19 Pandemic. With COVID-19 in 2020, young people are facing a job crisis. This study attempts to explore the problems of youth employment, which has become more difficult due to COVID-19. According, according to our study, it is analyzed that if a relationship is intentionally disconnected, although it is temporary, it makes a person get difficulties to interact with external resources as well as internal resources, thereby isolating the person. In response to this, in response to this, the necessity of promoting comprehensive social policies rather than returning to employment-oriented policies in, is raised. A questionnaire survey was prepared for university enrolled students and university students on leave about changes in their job-seeking activities after COVID-19. The survey was conducted in the form of an online questionnaire for university students in non-metropolitan regions and metropolitan regions from November 13th to November 19th, 2020, and the responses were received from a total of 72 people. In the results of analyzing the correlation between spec activity restrictions after COVID-19 and job search activity setback, the correlation between the two was found to be significant. The more rest restrictive spec activities after COVID-19, the more setbacks the job search activities will have. Comparing the responses to prefer, preferred workplaces before and after COVID-19, changes were confirmed such as startups, etc., increased by 5.6%. Accordingly, it is suggested that strengthening support for youth entrepreneurship is important. Responses to the advantages of face-to-face -face briefing session and the interview were found to be in the order of 81.9% of site atmosphere experience, organizational culture observation, 45.8%, and surrounding environment confirmation, 38.9%. These all suggest the necessity of experiencing non-verbal communication and space. Therefore, even if non-face-to-face -face briefing session and the interview were held in the future, a system that enables such non-verbal field experiences is uh, interpreted to be important. In this case, it would be res reasonable to sy systematically supplement to accessibility for residents of non-metropolitan regions. In response to the necessity of support by university side for non-face-to-face -face interview preparation, it was found to be in the order of 66.7% of support to practice non-face-to-face -face mock interviews by industry. 47.2% of support to practice non-face-to-face -face mock discussions by industry, and 44.4% of special lecture non-face-to-face -face on camera and microphone setting and shooting environment. The necessity of support by university side in response to various employment activities conducted in a non-face-to-face -face manner was confirmed. The implications and policy suggestions based on the above analysis results are as follows. There is a tendency to delay the start of job search activities due to 
restrictions on spec activity after COVID-19 and this situation with 55.6% expecting to end after two years, year 2022, while 65.3% wanting to start job search early suggests that the youth willingness to find a job exists for sure. The correlation of non-face-to-face -face preference according to the difference in residence in metropolitan regions and non-metropolitan regions was not found to be significant. But in terms of time and money, non-face-to-face -face also has some part helpful to residents of non-metropolitan regions and the fact that even in the face-to-face -face method, the preference of residents from non-metropolitan regions was higher than that of metropolitan regions, suggesting that it reflects the high intention of university students living in non-metropolitan regions on job search activities. Although relatively non-face-to-face -face is preferred, interest in categories such as site atmosphere, organizational culture, and surrounding environment that cannot be experienced without a site was confirmed to be high, which suggests the importance of providing such an opportunity even in uh, non-face-to-face -face method is introduced in the COVID-19 situation and afterwards. And in particular, the accessibility needs to be systematically supplemented, especially for residents of non-metropolitan regions. Furthermore, the supplement the SPEC activities currently restricted with social distancing, policy supplements are also required to enable a diverse field experiences, internships, and startup support in a safe environment. At this time, as the importance of opportunities for non-verbal communication and on-site spatial experience is implied, those opportunities need to be combined with various types of support so that such non-verbal opportunities can be granted. In addition, the need for support for non-face-to-face -face mock interviews, non-face-to-face -face mock discussions, camera and microphone setting and shooting environment as expected rules from the university side was confirmed. Last year, even after the, even after the end of COVID-19, various non-face-to-face environment, non-face-to-face -face employment environments are expected to continue to some extent. As such, administrative authorities and school authorities are also required to develop and utilize a combination of face-to-face -face and non-face-to-face -face method in response. Thank you very much.